Well, now that we've kind of set up our uh, vendor file, we need to uh, do a couple things to kind of brand it as our own. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, if we look in prebuilt common, we see that we have uh, you know a few things like media, um, you know some other things in here. Uh, but one of the big ones that we want to change is our overlay and common. Let's see, where am I looking here? Can't find what I'm looking here. Frameworks, base, core, res, res. Aha. Okay. So in here is the default wallpapers. Okay. And so um, these default wallpapers. Um, I think also another way that you can look at these is common bin. No. Uh, in some, in some, actually, in prebuilt, there's just one wallpaper that you can change, and it actually builds the other wallpapers. But uh, in this older version, here you have separate folders for each one, uh, and of course, the default wallpaper is, uh, you know, the CyanGemod or Lineage OS default, and we want to change that to something else. We want, uh, you know, kind of our own thing. So I downloaded uh, just a kind of picture that I found off the web so I apologize to somebody if it's actually you know I don't think it's copyrighted to the best of my knowledge but you know it is what it is so uh, since we are calling this the useless ROM I just grabbed a, a picture of somebody had spray painted useless on the wall and somebody took a black and white photo of it so uh, pretty uh, pretty straightforward um, what we want to do is make that named default wallpaper dot jpeg and of course it's a png so one of the things you can use uh, let's grab our terminal we'll change directory back to our home cd2 downloads and we have our useless uh, png right here one of the things we can use is convert uh, Let's see, yeah, convert um, useless PNG to uh, useless JPEG. And we're using Image Magic to do that. If you don't have Image Magic installed, you can install it and then it'll do those conversions for you. So that's great. And then we can also resize it to be a different size if we want. We can also open it up with uh, tools like GIMP and maybe do some custom editing. You know, um, how about since it's all black and white, we'll give it a uh, neon green underline or something here. Let's do something kind of kind of crazy here. all in black and white. Let's, uh, here we go, tools, colors, image, mode, grayscale, we'll put it red, green, and blue, and now we can underline our useless ROM. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll save that as, uh, our XCF, which is an editable file for GIMP. Uh, and so let's figure out some sizes of what we need. Um, where is... there it is. Alright, so we're going to have to replace a couple of things. Um, let's open this one here. And it is 1080 by 960. So we're going to need one that's 1080 by 960. Uh, we could uh, export this. and uh, call it useless PNG. Let's export it as a um, JPEG since that's what we need. There we go. Replace the one that's there. Export. Okay, great. So we've got 
our uh, file here in downloads with our use list there. <coughs> we'll just go ahead and delete these because we won't need them anymore. Um, actually, to make all this easy, I'm going to make a folder here and throw all this other stuff in there just to give us a little bit of space to work. Okay, so we've got our useless JPEG. We see it right here. We can convert, and I always mess this up, but it's resize, and we can say 1080 by 960. Useless to default wall wallpaper dot jpeg so if we open that one up there we go uh, it did not do a perfect conversion and that's because I need to add a tag on it let's see convert dash help I need to tell it not to keep the geometry. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, options in here. Let me pause this for a second while I dig through here. Okay, so I needed to add an exclamation mark right here after the size to say, I don't care, just make it that size, whether or not that's in line with the uh, aspect ratio or not. So now we've got our 1080 by 960, so we can copy this and we put it in here. And we're going to overwrite or replace, and there we go. So now we need to do that for each one of these files. But first, let's see, that one's 960. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go through and do each one of these. Um, I'll go ahead and just pause the video while I do them all. Uh, you know, but uh, essentially it's just going to be the same thing. 960 by 800. Replace each one. Um, I actually did make a script for doing this that you can check out on my GitLab uh, if you're interested in doing that. Okay, so we've got all of the uh, default wallpapers updated so that way no matter what size screen the person is using uh, they're gonna see your uh, you know kinda branded wallpaper so to speak and so just uh, one of the fun things that you get to do as we go along, we're going to be doing a lot more of this sort of thing throughout uh, that we have to change, but just uh, showing where we would change that default wallpaper. So don't forget to, you know, save that work, and we've got to uh, push it up in here. You see all these files have changed, so we're going to stage all our changes. We're going to put a summary of, you know, changed default wallpaper and wallpaper changed and uh, we'll commit those and uh, push that up for use so now we've actually got uh, kind of like uh, changes happening and things uh, are going to start looking different in our ROM right now we've we've only thing we've actually changed uh, when this gets built is it'll have the background that says useless ROM on it so just uh, kind of a fun thing to uh, to get started with but we'll definitely be doing a lot more